idiot. Unmute what up, everybody? Hey, 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 I got it. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome to the stream. We are going to be reviewing uh, Batman, not under the Red Hood, but Death in the Family uh, interactive video or interactive movie. So uh, stay tuned for that. We're just going to jump right here in the chat real quick and just see who all is with us today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Mad Matt Vids, for joining us. Uh, he's normally asleep at this time, but I'm, I'm glad we were able to wake him up. So, uh, but before we do, I'd like to thank my Patreons who helped these, uh, these broadcasts happen. Uh, I got Tyler, Zod Rider, and Juan Villarreal. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You know, this, this helps, uh, keeps this thing going. And, um, without further ado, let me jump into the chat and see who we have today. Uh, Retro Gray. Hey, so Steve's up in here. Smash that like button. Please smash the like button. Let everybody know that we are broadcasting. If you haven't seen the movie, uh, we are going to be talking about it unfiltered. Uh, it's going to be spoilers all over the place. Uh, maybe we'll start off with just, you know, a little oversight, a little, uh, uh, you know, a high level uh, overview of what we thought of it first. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to go into spoilers in this thing because it's not really like the other movies that uh, DC Animated has has, uh, has released. Uh, what's up, Akansha? How are you? Uh, worst animated movie? Mm, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could say something like that because not everything was animated. Uh, let's see. Steve Kassan. Zod Rider. Hey, Zod Rider hopefully will be here. Uh, he said that, that now was a good time. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, Uber Eats has come to his door or he has another <laughs> unexpected visitor. <laughs> So <laughs> we shall see if he if he joins us. Great, because he he actually was really enthused and wanted to get on this broadcast uh, and uh, and talk with us about this uh, experience. Because he did he did the digital uh, he did the digital copy. We actually have the physical copy, sure which is. Mad Mad has right <laughs> in front of us. Yes, so we were able to uh, to jump around on the disc. And uh, yes, we do have the under the red hood. Uh, so we have both movies, uh, which are not exactly required uh, for viewing, but it is definitely recommended. Um, what's up, McLovin? How's it going? Let's see. <laughs> Michael Latoon? Is this... Oh, you got the same same avatar as the ancient. Uh, it's in the ancient. It's interesting. Yes. Oh, it is you. Aha. <laughs> so you have two accounts. It's funny. Uh, no, it is not a bunch of lies. We are live. We're here. <laughs> um yes no well we we tried we tried yes and we are live now uh what's up dc dc's Hello. up in here um let's see they're talking to each other let me just jump through here fatal j is up in here how's it going i'm glad that you're here <laughs> uh nova nova ho nova ho nova joe uh what Great take, Ryan. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, let's see. What is going on? Cygnus is up in the house. How's it going, Cygnus? Arkham Gaming. Uh, let's see. Hi, Batman Death in the Family. Didn't feel like Death in the Family. Uh, I feel it would have been better if they did an animated movie that was directly from the comics than this cheaper version. It, it, it was a little bit cheaper, I would think, um, just due to they uh, they just had a lot of stills and they tried to sort of uh, animate those and make them look a little bit more yeah, interesting, like, but it was basically <laughs> scenarios. But we're gonna we'll get into that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. They're saying hello to each other. Uh, Rasha's up in here. How's it going, Rasha? Uh, we will be talking spoilers. I know that you uh, you'd mentioned that uh, you might not want to hear those, but I, I mean, it's you're not really gonna get too spoiled on this thing. It's it's it was a cool. It was an interesting sort of animation you know, breakdown scenario kind of thing that they, it was different. It was different from their, uh, the regular animated movies that they've been putting out. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Yes. Yes. Okay. So everybody's saying hello to everyone else. And I think we're caught up now. Uh, so without further ado, let me just jump back over here. Smash that like button guys. Uh, and yes, we will be talking today about Batman, a death in the family. Um, where the, the interesting scene or uh, shots that you get through here throughout the uh, the DVD or Blu-ray or 
um, you know, disc that you get is you get these different scenarios that you can select from. Uh, and the cool thing about this is after you have played through the, uh, the scenario, you can actually just go in the menu and jump back to one of these points and choose the other option. So you don't have to watch the whole thing over again to see what the other uh, scenario might have ended up, you know, uh, playing out with or as. So it was, uh, it was pretty cool. So I guess with all of our reviews, let me ask Matt, what didn't you like about this? <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I didn't, I didn't like how they changed. Uh, I guess Jensen Ackles couldn't come back to reprise Red Hood. He probably cost too much money. I guess so. so. They, got, they got someone else. Supernatural needed him back. They couldn't let him go. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I, I, they I needed to cut. Yeah, they that. needed him to come back and look confused. I don't know, just the, the actor. Like sometimes it just felt like like they were just in the booth talking. <laughs> like uh, whenever he was on top of the the bridge, it mm -hmm. just it just didn't sound the same to me. It, from, it, under right, it didn't have the same cadence. It didn't have the same impact. I agree with you on that. Yeah, I, I didn't like that. And then some I of the like uh, had, uh, the same Joker. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But some of the laughs were different. They weren't. It, it sounded it, more like, Hamill ish. I not thought Hamill. It sounded like um, higher. I don't know. I, I guess Hamill higher pitched. It yeah. Just so, didn't so his name was uh, DiMaggio. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, he was he was in there as, as the Joker from Under the Red Hood, and he was back for. And then for I, this I one. guess so, I guess Greenwood came back, but he he didn't sound. It sound same. it sounded different. It sounded different from Under the Red Hood. So if it was Greenwood, which I, I'm sure that you pulled it up on IMDb and you've already found that out, you're good to go. So, yes. yes. So we know that. We know that also they didn't have Doogie Hauser, didn't bring him back for uh, for Nightwing, um, Neil Patrick Harris. So all of Nightwing's oh, dialogue he didn't, he didn't talk was period. cut. Yeah, he didn't, yeah. yeah, it was all cut. He didn't have any speaking lines yeah. at all. Uh, Alfred didn't speak, I don't believe. No, it was, just, um, it was just like a little. Uh, right, right. Uh, Gordon did speak. Whoever played Gordon. Um, well, that, that was Joker. Barbara didn't speak. She <laughs> oh, wait, was no, 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 no. Gordon was a uh, fuck. It was a guy that played Two Face, Gary Cole. Okay. So whoever played Two Face played Gordon. They, 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 a lot of them. Oh, okay. a lot of so them they just reuse. Yeah, and yeah, they'll yeah, do they that. They'll do that with yeah. with voice actors. They'll reuse them for for different roles yeah. in the same film or the same show. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it, it was it was cool in that like you know, you could get to see different scenarios played out. But again, a lot of them were not animated. They were just still, yeah, just, yeah, still images. and images. And then, and you had, um, you know, like a monologue that just sort of, you know, carried over. Uh, there were, there were sequences. Well, like you saw Superman, but it was just a still, uh, you saw the flash come in and go out and that was animated, but you know, you didn't see his head and, uh, and you, you saw wonder woman, uh, right, right. There you go. There you go. Uh, and, and that's, that's all you saw of, of those three. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it was just, again, it was just a monologue from, from, uh, Jason Todd as he was, you know, going through, you know, what sort of what he was doing after Batman died. Uh, because, you know, in the, in the first little sequence of the first setup here, uh, you got, you know, Robin cheats death, <clears throat> which, you know, Batman picks him up and he's like, you're alive. <laughs> it just didn't sound like Batman, but he was so happy to see that Robin was there. Uh, Batman saves Robin, um, which was uh, Batman dying. Uh, and then you had Robin dies, which is the which regular movie under is the, the regular, regular, you know, Batman under the hood, but it was kind of a monologue. It, it was basically Bruce talking to Clark. another individual, which you find out is Clark Kent. Uh, and he's just telling him about this story here, uh, about what happened, what transpired, and things like that. So, um, and and that, I guess, I don't know why it was included, but you know, uh, because I mean, the whole point of the death in the family is is not really to go back over this story, is to tell us new stories. Um, and they kind of did. And they, they, like I said, they they chopped up the old Under the Red Hood, um, and they used a lot of footage from Under the Red Hood. Uh, they, they did animate a little bit, uh, but it wasn't, it wasn't a fully animated movie. They should have like, uh, uh, like I said in the chat earlier, they should have just given us a, an animated movie, a what yeah. if, and that would have been cool. This was, this was an interactive experience that was different. Like, you know, we'd haven't had anything like this. I mean, they did the same thing back in the eighties with the movie clue. 
where at the end they had, you know, um, had the ending of, you know, one, two, and three. They had three different endings. And when you went to the theater, it was a random uh, as far as like which the, which ending that you would see. Then they had other interactive shows, and I can't remember which ones they were, but they had another movie that was kind of like this where you could, uh, but it was only like one one selection or I, but I can't remember what, what, what the uh, what the name of the movie or, or show that was. Uh, but this one was a, a neat experience. Um, but again, it just it wasn't, and it was what made it also better was that like we went back to you know better character designs than the Deathstroke and the Man of Steel animated movies, um, and even the movies that came before it, or the little shorts rather that came before it. Sergeant, uh, what was it? Sergeant, Sergeant Rock. Rock. Uh, starring Carl Urban, uh, and then they had uh, Phantom it's Stranger. Uh, they had Death. Yeah, Death. And they had one more. Uh, Adam Strange. Adam Strange, right? So Adam Strange and uh, and Sergeant Rock. Is that Rock? The Rock. <laughs> I, yeah. just keep, just, I keep forgetting. It's like because I, I don't know Sergeant Rock. Rock. I've Sergeant never Rock. heard of Sergeant Rock before. <laughs> Adam Stranger, I have heard of because he was in that show Krypton. Yeah. Uh, you know, with um, that played on the Sci Fi Channel. Uh, but the Phantom Stranger, that story sucked. It was just so like simple. It, it felt like a Scooby Doo episode. The only interesting one I liked was Sergeant Rock. That that was, Sergeant Rock was yeah, cool. That was, yeah, that was an interesting. I one. liked it. It was it was very cool. And and all four of those were better. Of, of course, you know, a couple of them were, were or maybe all of them were were produced or directed by uh, Bruce Tim, which was the uh, the old Batman you know animated series uh, showrunner. And uh, so a lot of that stuff was sort of a callback to that animation, but I, I still say that the, that type of animation was superior than you know the uh, the stuff that we're getting now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, Phantom Stranger didn't like it. Death. It was cool to see other places of Gotham, but other than that, I didn't care. Um, it wasn't great, but I, I did like um, Adam Strange. And I did, I did like uh, Sergeant Rock. I thought that those were cool. Those are the strong ones. They played first, um, and that that was kind of it. And they're they're they were short, but I mean, I I do like the short uh, little shorts that they put in front of the movies. But back to uh, Death in the Family. Um, let me let me jump back into what are some of the thing, the things that you that you did like. Oh, man, I mean, uh, <laughs> is it that hard to, to, to there's recall? There's a lot. There's a lot that happened, man. Like, I mean. Well, well jump about, back about, in the how images. About favorite, favorite arc. Favorite arc. Which? What was your favorite arc? Mine. Uh, Mine was I, Red Robin. Red Robin was okay. I preferred uh, the uh, the other one where he was in a, in a bandage, and then he, and when he healed, yeah, uh, you know, he was just sort of like he looked kind of two face ish, uh, and he he uh, he took Damien from Talia. He looked like Hush. And, <laughs> <laughs> he looked like Hush. <laughs> Not really. This guy. Yes, this guy no, looked like Hush. No, he did home. not look like that. Look at that. that, that, that that's not me? Hush. Hush that is completely hush. bandaged. He's even got the trench coat, man. <laughs> He's got the same freaking coat. Oh, God. So and I guess anybody right can be Hush. H? Come on. You know, you know <laughs> what Hush looks like. Come on. Yeah. Uh, but I like that, that, that scenario. That's the thing the I don't like is how he. How come he doesn't look like his own thing? How, why does he have to look like Hush? Why does he have to look like like? Why is he dressing up as Red Robin? Why can't he be his own thing? Yeah, Red Robin is actually um, it's Tim Drake's. Tim Drake. Yeah, but Tim Drake is now Bat Kid. Is now <laughs> Bat Kid, uh, which we have a picture of. Yeah, I do. It's right. Good. Damn. Yeah, there he <laughs> is, right there. Um, so I mean, you know, the uh, the Red Robin outfit looks pretty good yeah it looks looks but awesome. again that's that's on jason todd and that that means that in this universe jason todd came up with this idea uh and the bat kid uh or i don't know i mean that that was that was okay it was okay it was it was interesting it was it was fine for this thing um and two-face was interesting as well uh go ahead and talk more about two-face since you since you like that scenario uh go ahead and bring up some uh, some of the images uh, that you have, and and just uh, let us know about uh, uh, about that particular selection. Who the hell do I even? Yeah, there he is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Amateur. Seeing, I thought it was cool to see new characters. Period in this universe, like seeing new heroes, yeah. like Clark. I mean, you, you get a glimpse of like Flash and Wonder Woman, which was cool. But yeah. seeing like Two Face and uh, Cheetah, that was that was pretty interesting. Like it, it was cool just expanding. Two Face on getting or, or a Cheetah getting shot. 
Well, just seeing her in general, her getting shot. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> nice like what, what the, what, what the hell was she doing in Gotham anyway? Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, well, what do you think of so, this? So, uh, well, I mean, I didn't mind uh, Two Face. Uh, I, I, I prefer. I mean, I do like the uh, the look. It, it's sort of a a, a, a uh, an amalgamation of the the old Batman the Animated Series, but then also it kind of because of the red, uh, uh, you know, part of the face, it looked a little bit Tommy Lee Jones. Um, so it was just sort of like a blend, uh, because in the animated series, uh, his his uh, his skin tone was was green or like a, a mint color. Um, yeah. So this this being a, a reddish uh, a reddish color was was it was cool. I liked it. Um, I, I liked their dialogue. Uh, and then and then in this, you also got another choice. Uh, and the you got the uh, the heads uh, or tails or or false heads um selections yeah thank you uh, thank you for the visuals uh, <laughs> Someone's got um, me on top of it. but yeah so it was either you know hey he uh you know robin lives or robin dies um and and so you get to play those uh scenario or whatever so so what is it about this sequence that you liked so much that resonated with you so much about uh, this with, scene uh, seeing uh joker like he, he gave up after he heard about batman dying yeah. jason runs into him and then uh, the Joker tells him a joke that you hear from the killing joke about two guys in an asylum trying to escape, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then um, Jason says, I'll tell the big man you said hello. And then that triggers him. And then, yeah, like th th this, this part alone was awesome. Like, he, and then like he, he, that, remind, that right awesome. there, the makeup and all that reminds me of Jack Nicholson uh, in Batman, oh, yeah, and the, yeah. the regular Batman from 89. So I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's sort of a callback. And then, I guess getting stabbed in the eye, that's sort of a reference to Stormfront that just happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just this whole diner scene was just amazing. I, I liked it. It was really yeah, cool. yeah. It was it was a it was a cool interaction. I, I liked it. It it again, there are parts in here that were animated. Uh, and I think that, that a lot of the things that were not animated kind of cut it short and 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 sort of took a little bit of the umph away from this thing so if they had done this thing interactive but then made it to where they were long played out scenarios this thing i i, I could completely recommend hey purchase this it's awesome yeah. this is great um i mean we bought it yes because it's 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 fun it's interesting it's <laughs> <laughs> i'm not letting you take so anyway so we purchased the thing, we bought it, and it was interactive, and it was yeah, interesting. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the hell out of here! <laughs> hey, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, I, I, I think that it's, uh, it's well worth it. Uh, to, I mean, I don't know about digitally, like you know how Zod purchased it. Uh, I, I saw somebody in here put, uh, maybe I think they bought it on PS4. I think maybe a, a can't you? no. Uh, did you purchase this? I don't know if you purchased it uh, on uh, PS4. She said she didn't like it, uh, but I don't know if she ran into the same issue. Well, digital that... before physical copy, so I'm, I'm assuming he got it. I don't know where he got yeah. it. Yeah, so Zod said he, he got it. I don't know if he couldn't figure it out, but he got it, and he could only play – you know, through the through the whole uh, yeah, yeah, show yeah. through the presentation, he okay, couldn't make any selections. Yeah, uh, on the digital, whereas with the disc, it'll you know jump to you know whatever you select. That's what I had to do. Uh, so to get the I don't know if that was a fail yeah. on on DC's end or or, or Warner Brothers uh, animation, or I don't know if that was a fail on Zod's end, where you know it's it's a uh, it's a user error. It's not a user um, error. I, I I did it a while ago because I had to get these images somehow, so I, I got the digital version. You got the digital version. Okay, yeah, so yeah, so apparently, do not buy the digital version. Yeah, no, because you, wanna, you will not be able to play any scenario but the one. And that sucks. You have to sit through and watch the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? You have to. Can you make selections? You can't make any selections at it, all. You can't make it at the beginning. You click this scenario, plays the whole scenario. Oh, okay, so no so you have play. to play the scenario. So all scenarios are available on digital. Not all, because it was missing some that I had to I had to go outside and grab it from YouTube. Like like if you chose um, Robin surrenders to the cops, you won't get this scenario. In digital oh okay. okay you won't get that so there's and and, and, and that scenario and, uh, is, if you is chose, after uh, he kills joker and then if you chose life you don't get that scenario either oh wow 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so, I mean, uh, apparently, I mean, if that's the way it is, then yes, don't purchase the digital copy. Uh, <laughs> get, you know, get your get your physical copy, which which I I'm a proponent of anyway. I think that you know people should get digital copies of of these uh, of all movies, all media uh, that you like, uh, so that you know you don't run into technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, here we go. We got a good question here. Uh, Rush asks, do you think this is an, uh, it's an experiment, um, gouging interest feedback for the future interactive programming? Uh, they have to start somewhere. It's possible. It's possible that, that, that this is something that, uh, that they were going to try, but it could also be that it was just something, uh, it might be a one-off for them. Like, you know, I was thinking about this. I was like, other than maybe a flashpoint movie, because that would be pretty cool if you could go back and say, you know, Barry did this or Barry did that. And that alters the timeline, you know, and, and gives you a different outcome. That would be something cool. But the uh, one of the things that, that I didn't like was that even though you change an outcome, it's still like that one rooftop sequence. It takes you back to let me see if I can find it. Uh, where are we? Is this it? No, that's not it. <laughs> <What are you laughs> <looking at? laughs> Sorry. It takes you back to this sequence here. Oh, yeah. uh, where it doesn't matter what you did with uh, the the previous selection, it's still going to, to, to bring Jason to this rooftop to have this ex experience and dialogue yeah, it, exchange. It, it, it doesn't Tyler. matter if you, if you killed or spared Joker, you still right. come back to this scene. <laughs> it still comes back. And and what's funny about this, uh, this version of Batman, is that it the, the symbol and everything really reminded me of of the Batman uh, uh, animal instincts. Uh, it was very reminiscent of that. So I was like, okay, I mean, it, it's kind of cool. You know what they did. They just kind of took different, uh, different things and they incorporated it into this, into this story, you know, same with, with this here, you know, you've got, and, and that, that symbol right there uh, that bat kid has is also uh, from Anim animal instincts, except in that one, it was red. It was the, uh, it was the black Batman suit with the red, I think like a Batman beyond type suit. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, very, uh, very cool, different things that they kind of throw in here. But again, it's, it's just, it's sort of like a cheap way of doing something that could have been really awesome. If they'd taken the additional effort and time it could have been something, you know, that would have been on par with, you know, Under the Red Hood as a standalone film. Yeah. Um, but I, I think it's a little subpar because it's not a complete animated experience. Like, you know, uh, with uh, with Dick Grayson, even when he becomes Batman, no dialogue. Um, you know, with so there's really no interaction. You're, you're sort of stuck with like this is the scenario and it's an overview of the scenario. It's not like diving into a story, yeah. which I think would have really benefited this if they really wanted this thing to, to, uh, you know, to, to inspire, like uh, Russia was saying, to inspire new things, uh, you know, and hopefully they, they do get, uh, yeah, wh where is Zod? Nobody knows. He's probably he's in the phantom zone. That's where he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. We have a question here. Uh, you said, <clears throat> to get digital, but mint physical? Uh, no, I, I yeah, no, I, I, I say we get physical like you have. Thank you. That is superior than the digital uh, version that he bought. Uh, the digital version that he bought only allows for certain Cause scenarios because you get you to, to watch through. Okay. If you get it digitally, then uh, you have to play through the the whole thing. If you get it physically, you get to choose what you want. And you can you can go back into the menu and just you know you can go back to the 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 last selection because they have all the you know these screens right here pop up every so often in different scenarios. Oops, sorry, let me take the yeah. Digitally, off. you don't get that. Oh, uh, yeah. Digitally, this this doesn't happen. Um, but on the disc, it'll it'll play to a certain point and then it'll come up with the an option and then that little white bar that is above Robin's symbol. Uh, that's a little timer that, you know, uh, will force the, uh, the, the next scenario to play if you don't choose a, a selection. So it won't just stay on that screen and, and burn your screen or whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So that's, that's sort of an overview of, uh, of the movie here. So 
What did you, uh, so you think that, that hush was an inferior story? I didn't think it was inferior. I just, uh, I didn't, I didn't like it as I didn't like the outfit. I didn't like how he just wasn't his own person. Okay. And I thought like, you know, that this is very well, much, this is what he thinks about, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in my opinion, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but geez, like, I mean, I thought it was, I thought the whole thing was cool. What do you think about this? That was hilarious. Oh yeah. Yeah. Black mask was not treated right here. Oh my <laughs> he was, God. He was, he was the, uh, okay. So I was, as we were watching this thing with black mask, I and the door, the exit door kept from this blast. It kept uh, like getting. You don't have a picture of it. Uh, it kept getting knocked into the wall, you know, because of the blast. I I, I thought, you know, and he he would always narrowly escape it when he was in the uh, in the stairwell. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if like it, it chopped him in half or whatever, and, and it decapitated. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I was so I was like I, I I just I saw it coming, but this was one of the things that I actually liked. I was like, wow, they actually they actually went that way. They actually gave that scenario. You know, that was that yeah, was actually cool. a lot more blood in in this uh, than like what yeah. they usually did back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, they went a little further. I I'm I'm pleased with it. Like I said, it's uh, it's kind of a love hate kind of thing with this thing. Well, not hate, but love dislike uh, about yeah yeah <laughs> about this uh this version so what's, what's up john cena um i i just i don't know i mean i like it it was interesting it was different but it definitely had issues it definitely had had things that that could have been better um and, that, and and that's true with almost any form of you know media that, that you put out is there's always something that could be better but um I think I think if they had not had a deadline uh, and actually had some more time, because there was no rush for this thing, as far as I know, uh, to get it no. out there, because they have the Red Hood came out animated ten years movies. ago, huh? <laughs> Under the Red Hood came out. 10 yes, years ago. yes. So I mean, it's it's you know they had plenty right. of time to to flush this thing out, and yeah. especially with this COVID thing going on, they had animators you know at their homes that can work on this thing. And continue to animate as they're, you know, yeah, as this the, project uh, definitely the didn't take long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was, it was definitely a turnkey production. So, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, overall, what are your thoughts overall? Overall, we're not going to go like through like this and then tell oh, you. Yeah, Damien. no, well, I, I, I talked about that. I like this scenario. I don't mean like it. And then mm -hmm. Jason gets Damien. Yes, Jason gets Damien. He says what he's going to turn Damien against. A breakdown. You just you just vaguely touched everything. All right, right, right. right. So, <laughs> okay, so uh, here he is, uh, Hush. In, in this scenario, Batman dies, uh, and uh, and he chooses to uh, to pit Damien on his side uh, because he's very uh, what do I want to say? Not narcissistic, but uh, cynical. Uh, and uh, and he's going to raise him up and uh, and turn him into basically an evil Batman or an evil Robin or whatever. Um, versus the other scenario that you liked with uh, with Two Face, um, <clears throat> where he uh, he, which that was one thing I didn't quite like was that he met Tim Drake randomly <laughs> with Two Face there. I was like, that's kind of odd. I don't know. You got like, to meet him. Could have been just any. Yeah. Universe. You got to meet him somehow. It's a different. You got you No, know, you don't. Yeah, I you mean, do. Gotham's a big city, but that's what I mean. With some of these scenarios, like you know, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just it's, it's, like, it's kind of like, like it's a small world, world after all. You move everything just a bit, but enough to you know shift history. So so that happened, man. He found him. <laughs> that's it. It was inevitable. Right. Fine. Um, do the him or the chick Robin? I forgot what her name was. I see you have a spoiler for us. Favorite part is Joker and J yes, yes. So that's that's what uh, that's what Matt was yes. talking about. Awesome. That was one of his favorite interactions. You can pull that back up for us, um, and I'll read uh, Barcelona's shink. <laughs> shink. <laughs> <laughs> um, the animation looked a little wonky from what I've seen. Uh, looks like the old animation and the new animation combined. It looks strange. Well, it did look a little bit. Uh, inferior i'll say in that you know again they the parts that they animated i'm glad that they animated but the parts that they didn't animate that they just sort of it was just stills and it was just layers and they they uh, uh made characters sort of 
bl uh, not blend in, but I mean, um, you know, sort of, what do I want to say? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm talking, uh, I'm thinking about the opacity uh, when they sort of, you know, fade in, fade out. Um, yeah, it, it was just sort of like, you know, oh, there's Dick. Okay, he's gone. Okay, there's Barbara. Okay, she's gone. You know, j just like with the uh, with the superheroes, you know, at uh, at the computer, like you showed earlier, uh, with you know Superman, he just kind of showed up, and then he he just disappeared, and then and then Wonder Woman showed up, and then they actually animated Flash coming in, and and then he took off, and it was just like, but it was still that one static shock. Oh oh yeah, and then and then and then uh, uh, Nightwing came in. And he came in, you know, twice, and it was, it was, but that was it. It was just sort of the uh, Shazam, Superman, you know, head cut off shot <coughs> in the uh, in the uh, in that sequence. And again, and and that to me is just is very cheap. It's very like I mean, you know, they're cutting corners. And if you're going to put something together like this, and you want people to sort of, you know, kind of you know, adapt to this or, or, or jump on board and say, Hey, what else can we do with this type of, of technology or, or, you know, uh, uh, why not go all in and give us a fantastic production? They just didn't do it. So in one of the scenarios, um, or not one of, but one of the main scenarios of the three, uh, you can, you can choose to, uh, to save <clears throat> the Batman saves Robin. Yeah. Well, in Batman Saving Robin, of course, he dies. Uh, and then he's, you know, taken to the Lazarus pit and, you know, where eventually, you know, we get this, the sequence. And then he, he does battle with, um, with Jason on the rooftop. Uh, and do you have that shot? Battle? That's not it. Yeah, yeah. With the knives? Uh, there wasn't room. It wasn't, okay. It wasn't room. Okay. <laughs> StreamYard only allows for 100 images, uh, <laughs> and we have a lot of images, and these are really small thumbnails. I'm trying to figure out which ones are are which, but um, let's see what else. What else do you have here? Hold on. <clears throat> they did there. reuse a lot. So, like, like this here is from Under the Red Hood. Superior animation, uh, you know, and and uh, and drawings and things like that. This is this is all superior to what we got with this uh, with this one here, which this is okay. It's not as bad, but it's definitely you can definitely tell that this was done by a different uh, artist. You know, you, this is still from Under the Red Hood. Um, what's this one? I forgot that's what this one is. That's the bomb. That's oh, the bomb. this is yeah. Okay, so yeah, he he. Uh, uh, Batman couldn't talk and, uh, and he, there was a scenario where you either save him or you kill him. And if you save him, he, they, they, they have him in a straight jacket in the bat cave and he can't really speak very well. Yeah. Uh, but well, the, 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 la the, the last speech no, that his father told him when he was a kid, um, Zorro would go to, Arnold. right. Zorro would, would be, yeah, what, yeah, exactly. He says that over and over. Like Zoro wouldn't be accepted in, in Gothic society. The close-ups of him saying it each time was a little silly. Zor in R. It just it kind of, you know, it like that's so weird. I don't but, know why. Um, it's so goofy. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I I don't really have much else to say about this one. Uh, is there anything that else that, that you think we haven't covered uh, that that needs to be explained in this? So for those that got it digitally, you can either surrender to the cops or you can fight the cops. If you surrender to the cops, then Robin gets sent to jail, which he starts beating all the criminals and I'm assuming killing them. And then if you go the other route, then you become Red Robin. Why? I don't know. I guess the Tim wasn't around yet, obviously. And then he goes off and he kills these villains. He, he kills everyone. Where is uh, where is it? Here's Red Riddler with his head off. Oh, yeah. Decapitated Riddler. Sorry, yeah. Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts leaving his signa everywhere yes so i mean that was interesting and then yeah, uh, no i mean a lot of these concepts were really yeah i mean interesting. The, the glimpses were cool i just wish yeah. it was cool like, i wish that it was fleshed movie. out better yeah um that we actually you know you make a selection and you get to watch 
this whole movie play out animated movie, uh, but not, you know, not something that's just sort of like, here's a, here's an overview of, of what that would have been, you yeah. know, and sort of, here's a recap a little bit, you know, I, I would have loved to have just had it just sort of a little bit more cinematic in that it's just, it just plays as a normal, you know, um, animated movie until you have, until you come up with your next selection. Um, and then continue with, you know, the, uh, the animation until you see it through, through to fruition. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, let's, uh, let's jump on some of the comments here and, uh, we'll go and close it out. Let's see. Let's see. You Just miss your uh, favorite intro sequence to the comic store. Oh my God. I, <laughs> we had to watch that like five or six times <laughs> and I was like, oh, this sucks. Can they need, that needs to be dynamic. They need to have some different, you know, intros. Cause I mean the same damn intro every single time just gets hella old. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, they, they they did look weird. I, I completely agree with that. Uh, so great concept, bad execution, pretty much. Well, not bad execution, just not great execution. Yeah. You know, I get accused of, like, hating everything. I didn't hate this thing. Like, I'll watch it again. You know, this he is something He wants me to that... return it. He doesn't want it anymore. <laughs> he but wants me to see, return it. But you didn't, you didn't keep the receipt, so you, you <laughs> so, screwed so you're it. stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, yeah, I'm stuck with it. So I have to watch it again. So I might as well. Um, I, I honestly see, think was it was Zilla think it, 98 was because in the movie movies. Zilla. Oh no, it wasn't a <laughs> parasite. Uh, no, that was, uh, that was thankfully that was left in uh, man of tomorrow. <laughs> we don't ever have to see that stupid thing again. Um, I mean, it's, it looks better than the Superman movie. Yes, I agree. I agree. Um, but this, this animation is even even the the this animation here the ones that uh, the stuff that was not in under the red hood the new animation that they did for this movie still in my opinion was better than the uh, man of tomorrow and definitely better than the deathstroke movie let's see uh wow hell yeah wow <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> uh <laughs> is that not that's not fire um <laughs> Let's see. Russia says, uh, so it's a good concept, but uh, they need to iron out the uh, the details like animation consistency, uh, more detailed storyline, matching the aesthetic of the animation with the voiceovers. Uh, but if those were fixed, it would have been flawless. It would have been something that would have been on par, if not better than this, because they still had this in there. Yeah. Which I didn't really understand because it's like, well, now if, if I have that, I really don't need to buy this unless I want to watch something that's, you know, completely fully animated, and you elsewhere. know, and not just a recanting to Clark of, you know, of that, uh, that scenario. Uh, Hugo says, uh, Oh dude, I'm so glad you stopped by, um, <clears throat> drop by the 30th, like, uh, to avoid any memorable spoilers, unless Stephanie Brown, Tim's girlfriend, uh, no, she wasn't in it. Ha, smash the like button. Thank you so much. Uh, release date is October 26th of what, what comes out that, that day. I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comment uh, if you're still here, Hugo. I'd, I'd like to know what what's releasing on the 26th for you. Uh, yeah, it was it was an all right execution. Um, let's see, everybody's saying hello. All right. Well, uh, if if he lets me know, I will let everybody else know. Uh, but thanks so much, everybody, for smashing the like button, coming and and uh, and allowing us to uh, to let you know what we thought of this movie, yeah. and uh, and letting us know what you thought of it. Uh, based on what either what we thought or what you saw, if you uh, if you actually rented or bought this thing, not rented, uh, purchased it digitally or bought it with physical media. <laughs> so, uh, any closing thoughts, Matt? Um, I mean, I, I enjoyed it either way. I mean, it was cool, but I mean, I think if you didn't see Under the Red Hood, this thing isn't probably that great for you. Yeah, but uh, it, it, in watching Under the Red Hood, I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. I just didn't like glimpses of it. I wish that there was more. When you choose the Robin dies option, I didn't mind it. It gave you more perspective and more background on it which i thought was cool so i mean overall i mean it was okay i don't think it was terrible but it was okay 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 and again um i, I i'm a little upset that it didn't have uh what's his face uh doogie hauser nightwing in it they just cut all of his dialogue um and they didn't have uh i mean i, I guess i guess jens jensen would be too old uh for for this younger no, version of robin Come on, no, for Red Hood, Red Robin, Hush Robin. 
Yeah, but but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't want to pay him. But uh, (laughs) that was cheap. (laughs) But anyway, thanks, everybody, for showing up. And I guess we can close it out with this clip. Nobody cuts my grapnel lines. (laughs) Nobody. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why I thought that was goofy. It was funny. Nobody cuts my grapnel lines. (laughs) Nobody. <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you next time. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And again, thank you, everyone that uh, that is a Patreon of the channel. It really it makes a difference. Helps us out a lot. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the subscriptions. And you guys have a great night. See you later. Peace.